Today, I addressed Silliness Live, and especially that picture of me kissing Harry. I recap stories and little secrets from my live show to give you a bit more of an insight of what happened behind the scenes. By the way, every video that you see on this channel is streamed live on Twitch. So if you want to see these whilst they happen live, then follow my Twitch channel. Enjoy! Hi! Hello, 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 hello. Hey, everyone! Weird to see you all in the Twitch chat today. Is there maybe a reason that you're all joining me? Oh. Yo. Oh. Uh, 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 um. Hey guys. So. Uh, what do you guys think of my streams this week? Anything in particular that stood out to you? No? Oh, alright. Sub goal? Yeah, I know about the sub goal. Did something happen? The Spotify rap stream went hard. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Yeah, um... I don't know. I, I feel like I've been doing some good streams this week, man. I just wanted you guys to appreciate it, but I guess not. Anyways, let me change my sub goal, I guess. You're gonna like this one, chat. I don't know how she she's agreed to this, but... There you go. Um, so, everyone, uh, two days ago, I, um, uh, I uh, went on stage in front of a sold out show and I had 3,000 viewers and Zoyle had 2,000, which means we had 5,000. So, that old thing, yeah. Oh, and, and look at this thing that I got to show you, chat. Everyone hold. Um, oh, that's nice that that doesn't work. Oh, here we go. This should work. Uh... Ah. This old thing, chat. What's all that about? Six digits. Okay, 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 okay. Now, if you all gave me one dollar, I'd be able to put in 10% of the amount to uh, get Tubnet going. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? If you all gave me $10, we could try again, guys. All of you. Um, but yeah, I... Uh... must Live, man. Um... One question for you. Uh, hello, chat. Oh, chat. Say hello to Alex, who made the who made the starting soon art. This one. This one. This one. This one. Oh, and also the usual one as well. Hey, Alex. Hey. Uh, yeah. So one question for you, chat. Uh, my one goal for the Twitch viewers who were gonna watch Silly Must Live was for it to be the best stream. So, I need a new, uh, new, uh, nine minutes of battery life. Yeah. Uh, how am I going to solve this problem? Everyone, please hold. I'm going to get Molly's light. Molly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, thanks, Molly. Thanks. Yeah, I've got a light now, chap. Uh, now there's a difficult step here. I have to get it behind my streaming setup. How am I going to do that? Uh, look how professional this light is, man. Uh, yeah. Oh god. It's not working so far, my plan. Now let me try something else. Please hold. As I am, I'm going to solve this problem. No, it's okay, it's just being gay. I'm glad that she understood. Hold on, I know it's really bright, chat, hold on. Is that too bright? How's that? Is that okay? Yeah, that's... Uh, maybe it needs one more. Huh? Yeah, it is dark now, <laughs> though. You have to admit. Uh, Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Chat, yo. Uh, no offense, but you need to start a GoFundMe for your chair. Uh, my father came to visit uh, in Brighton. Uh, he came to see my apartment and he said, and I quote, I'm not joking, Max. I was going to help you buy a sofa, but this is a dire situation with your chair. Would you like a chair for Christmas? <laughs> um... So, maybe I'm getting a chair for Christmas this So, I'm quite weird about my lighting, so... I just wish I was more face lit here. Uh, Alright, chat, hold. We're getting back into it. Alright. Hey, Britsad! Uh... Odie, thank you so much for the three years. Holy shit. Hi, Odie. Hello, Kiz. Thank you for the four months. Craig JJ Place, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you so much. Hiccup with the 36. Thank you. Warwick with the four. Uh, thank you. Thinroth with the 28 months. And Be Going Buzz with the gifted sub. Thank you. All right, chat. Yo. Let's get back into this shit. Enough, enough blabbering. I'll even open a notepad here. So I'm a bit more lit. Yeah, yeah. It looks fine now. All right. Chat. I wanted Silly Must Live to be the greatest stream that any of you had watched in 2024. Are any of you willing to admit that that was the truth? Any of you? I enjoyed it more than creator games. Yeah, up yours, Ludwig. And he won streamer event of the year. So maybe I've got a shot next year, man. Um, I should have had Donald Trump in it. Maybe I would have won. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you. I hope it was fun to watch on Twitch. I hope. I hope the chat was the production any good. Is that any good for the stream? Hopefully it was. I don't know. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, yeah, so... Let me get right into it with Silly Must Live. 
I woke up at, uh, what is it? I woke up at 10 a.m. Um, because I was like, <sighs> it, it, today's the day, today's the day. And I went to the office to meet with Freddy before the show. And no word of a lie, Freddy tells me all of his music equipment is broken and he's not sure if any of it is going to work on stage. Um, because um, Freddy's, uh, a lot of Freddy's stuff was ran through MIDI, uh, which is like a music software. And the night before Silly Mercy, MIDI had a forceful update, which changed something called latency. And latency is the delay between something being played and it uh, sounding. Uh, not like r slash sounding, though, Quabby, if you're here. And it messed up all of his settings, which meant that uh, it, like, fucked up with the syncing between the mics and the, and the, the music. Oh, Quabby's literally here, man. Um, yeah, so I woke up that morning and Freddy told me that it was all fucked up. And you might be thinking, Max, you were probably so stressed. But the truth is, this is all I said to Freddy. I looked at him and I said, Freddy, I trust you to solve this. I, I have all of my trust in you. I believe it. And he fucking solved it. He fucking solved it before the show. Uh, so yeah, Freddy fixed that, which uh, was nice. Anyways, um... Uh, I, I need to thank another person about uh, another thing to do with Silimus. So, our tech setup was meant to start at 3 p.m., which means we would have had four hours to do our tech. And um, and I was speaking to Molly, and she she like pushed me to pay extra to do to start at 2 p.m. so we could have an extra hour. I wanted to thank Molly for making me do that because everything stopped working at half past 6 p.m. And we really needed the extra hour. Uh, so thank you, Molly. Um, so yeah, at uh, 2 p.m., I got to Ironwork Studio in Brighton. And uh, I walked in, and it was meant to be 2 p.m. precisely. I was meant to meet my production staff. It was just me. It was just me. And, um, I was sat in the auditorium, alone, and I didn't have anyone to talk to. And, uh, Ironworks is a very homosexual, friendly venue. And in the other room, the only thing I could hear was the two owners of the venue <laughs> talking about how they could make their next special, like their, sh their next special, uh, gayer. <laughs> they were talking about how to make it gayer. And I was just sat in the in the auditorium like, what the fuck is going on, man? Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was good. It was it, it was good. Everyone everyone came through in the end. I wanted to thank Lee Smith as well for transporting my camera equipment. Thank you, Lee. Um, Save my ass some Ubers. And uh, oh, sorry, I keep kicking this cable. Um, so yeah, uh, Freddy and Erin got there, and, uh, and we began our tech setup, and I'm gonna be honest with you, chat, it was boring as fuck. <laughs> it was so boring! Holy shit, man, I hated it. All I had to do, I had to stand around and point at things and go, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, to people that were more qualified than me. Um, but also, oh my god, I need to tell you something, chat. Let me open up a, a, a one of the bits in Silly Mouse, whatever. Right here, maybe? No, oh, man, is, is there not just like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Surely I'm, yeah, okay. Chat, do you see this, uh, this, uh, this Christmas tree behind me? Uh... That wasn't meant to be there. Uh, the the I realized whilst doing the tech setup that the stage was very empty. 
And so I walked out into the main area of the venue and I went to the owner and I said, Hey, you might not like this, but like, please, can I put your tree on the stage? And he said, no. <laughs> but then he thought about it and I asked very nicely and he said yes. So that was Ironworks' tree as well. So thanks, guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we did a bit of setup with that. We put it on stage, whatever, blah, 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 blah. We get to about 6 p.m. And uh, none of the audio equipment works. But not for the reason from before with Freddy's MIDI. It just didn't work. And as you can imagine, I was a little bit stressed. And so if you are one of the people that had um, early accessibility access to the venue, and you might be wondering why, instead of being let in at half past six, you were let in at 7 p.m. Yellow guy with hands up. That was me. I told them I didn't want anyone in the room because I couldn't bear the stress. Sorry. And I, you got your seats just fine uh, anyways, but... Sorry if you were out there in the cold for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah. Now, leaving the stage, uh, we can talk a little bit about the green room. <sighs> How do I say this? Streamers. Streamers that were in Sillymus. My green room is not bring your friend to work day. Okay. It wasn't a big green room, so why the fuck were there 20 people in there? Why the fuck? The green room was probably the s smaller than my bedroom, actually. Um, there were a lot of people in there. A lot of people. Um, obviously, I love all of them very dearly. They're best friends of mine, but... They were all in there, and 30 minutes before the show, I stood up, I was being very quiet because I was trying to not get stressed. I stood up and I turned to everyone in the room and I said, If you're not in my cast, get the fuck out of this room! <laughs> and then they all left. Which was nice. Um, but it's fine, man. I was stressed and they knew that. Um... And anyways, we were there in the green room. Everything had been set up now. It was all going well. And I was beginning to do security checks. Chat, I felt so cool. They gave me my own radio transmitter with all of the security staff on it. And all I had to do was switch the dial. And I could call anyone that worked at the venue. Um, and so I was there trying that out. Being like, hey guys, hey. Um, and then... I get an unfortunate call. My parents died in a car accident. Nah, I'm lying. Tubbo and Johnny were an hour late. <laughs> um, they were an hour late to my show. Uh, and... Listen. They're two of my not like two of my best friends in the whole world. How do I put it into words? I have never been that angry at anyone in my entire life. I was so fucking angry when they were late. Because I specified a time and they weren't even 15 minutes late. They were an hour late. I was angry as fuck when they got in there when the people got into the green room i just let them do as they wanted because they were just uh you know like waiting around when they got in there i bossed them around i was like you're gonna sit down and sign these posters you need to wear these clothes you need to be you need to shut the fuck up because i was like oh my god pissing me off why were they late uh well i didn't know this but apparently um, there was some technical problems at the after party setup and which supposedly warranted being one hour late apparently um, 
But they didn't tell me that. <laughs> uh, I saw Silimus for my birthday. You were really nice. I gave you the John A. File bracelet. Yes, man. I remember you. Thank you so much for that. Hold on. Uh, I have a bag of gifts that people gave me. I will find your bracelet in here. Hold on. Is it that one? Yes, 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 yes. Yes! It says John A. File. I don't know if you can read that. They walked up to me and they were like, would you like one that says Silimus or one that says John A. File? And I, I, I like audibly laughed in their face and went, the John A. File one, please. Um, so yeah, I'm now a proud owner of a John A. File bracelet. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, more drama in my green room. Uh, I was, for the, for the 30 minutes before I... Um, before I went on stage, I sat in my green room and I closed my eyes and I just listened to the first song that I had to sing, which was Santa Baby. And n not exaggerating, every single minute, one of the pe one of these two people, John A and Jack Manifold, would stop me and go, I understand it now. No, I understand it now. And after a while, I became so unreceptive that they realized that I really didn't want them to say that anymore. Um, but, uh, you know, people were, people were, dude, Molly was in the green room trying to talk to me. And I, apparently, <laughs> apparently she spent five minutes talking at me and had no idea that I wasn't listening because I had my AirPods in. And then she just like gave up. So sorry, Molly, about that. Uh, dude, my hair, man. I need a haircut. Holy shit. And, uh, yeah, so, green rooms, uh, it's going well, it's going well. Until five minutes before the show, where I lose my microphone. Um, well, I thought I lost it. Little did I know that Zoyle was just hiding it. For some reason. <laughs> He was just, he was just hiding it from me. Um, and I started to frantically be like, oh, what the fuck, what the fuck? And people began to see, like, I was, like, stressed about something. They were like, what's wrong? I was like, I can't find my microphone. And then Zoyle goes, this one? And he <laughs> just pulls out his fucking microphone. And I was like, yeah, thanks, Zoyle. And so, um, yeah, then I went on stage. Guys... I was so fucking, like, like, scared of the crowd. Because there were so many people there. When I walked out, I really didn't expect it. And that's why, when I I, I had, uh, I only wrote two jokes. The one about imagining my audience naked. And the first words I said when I walked on stage, which was, Wow! This is like the world's worst school assembly. I wrote that down to make sure that I had something to say when I f went on stage. Uh, and that kind of eased my tension. I was a little bit shy at the start, I thought. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it got quite good, I thought. And uh, I really wanted to say... Guys, I couldn't fucking believe that I got the entire venue to charge to, to chant part-timer at John A. That was crazy. It was crazy that people just decided that they would do that. Um that and um and everyone that said that they were a my tester. Uh I did want to say uh did want to address this. I heard uh, many things about um um, people who were maybe, how do I say this? Uh, <sighs> very rowdy crowd, everyone. 
bit of a rowdy crowd, wasn't it? Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you, and this is me being genuinely serious. Um, I would have appreciated sometimes when people weren't, like, heckling so badly. Like, uh, during Tom's stand-up set, that's, like, the only time that I really didn't want people to heckle. Uh, and some people did. Um... The mics picked it up too well. Actually, that was my uh, audience microphone. My ambience. Yeah. Yeah. I thought of everything, guys. I did. Um, and, um, yeah, I uh, I didn't really mind the heckling, personally. Uh, I know uh, I, I did get told by some people that they didn't really appreciate it. But I was like, I didn't, I didn't mind it, personally. Um... But, sorry uh, to one person in the audience. Let me find it. Well, actually, not sorry. Uh, uh, for this. I got many compliments from other creators over doing this. I should probably shouldn't be holding the second microphone all the time, but I like it. Uh, nah, I'll put it back. Uh, I don't know if you could hear that, but someone said, swap them over at me. Shut up. <laughs> um, anyways. Um, and apparently, I mean, apparently it's uncommon to tell your audience to shut up, but I was just like, man, I'm over this shit. Um, and also... I got many compliments from other streamers at the after party. They said I had nerves of steel because during the interval, people were throwing things for me on stage and I looked at one of them and said, if you throw something at me, I don't care. I'm not picking it up. And uh, apparently that was, uh, that was good as well that I did that. Um, but yeah, I didn't mind the heckling too bad. Uh, I didn't know that, like, I guess people, uh, like, crowds must be so boring, though. If, like, I, not that I love heckling, but, like, I felt like I, half my show was me replying to people and telling them to shut up. Like, I loved it. But that's kind of what I do on stream anyways. So. Um, yeah, it really eased my nerves, chat, when I realized that it was all just a stream. Uh, I just went up there, and it was just a stream. All I had to do was stream. Uh, one thing, by the way. I got told by a lot of people that I did quite a good job about it. But, like, I might as well say it now that it's done. Um, I really shouldn't have done 25 minutes of interval. It was absolutely not in the schedule. Uh, so, sorry if there was about 10 minutes of room where... I didn't have any idea what to do because I wasn't supposed to. Um, that's why I sat on the stage. I was like, I don't... Yeah, I... Uh, I tried to fill it, but I struggled a little bit. Oh, yeah, my clock was wrong as well. Yeah, but that was fine. That, that wasn't such a problem. Chat, that's why, uh, if, uh, one in chat, maybe if you've watched the YouTube video, uh, I cut the entire interval out. Because I couldn't bear it. I can't watch it. <laughs> the entire thing's cut. Uh, but I think I'm gonna make it into a, uh, the VOD into a Twitch highlight. So, you can see the entire uncut VOD on this channel forever. Uh, so even if you want to see the interval or the starting soon or something... Um, but yeah, uh, God, I really need a haircut. I was abstaining from haircuts because, uh, I really didn't want to get fucked up before the show, but now I really need one. The drinks were so much at the venue, I was in hysterics five minutes later when I was told how much it was. Gin Souls, you need to get your money up. Also, Gin Souls, I didn't appreciate that you didn't come up to me and say that you were Gin Souls, uh. I completely forgot that you were there, and you should have said something, because I would have defended you and your joke about flicking your bean in the after party with my life. The amount of people that showed me the tweet and they were like, Ugh, this is so disgusting, look at this tweet. 
And I laughed in their face and went, dude, you just fall you just fell for Jin Sol's trap. Um But yeah. Uh I didn't people didn't know that you're a rage baiter, Jin Souls. Um but yeah. Uh everything else on stage was good. Apart from, by the way, um the entire ending of the show was wrong. Like the whole thing was wrong. It wasn't meant to be like that. Uh, hold on, chat. By the way, can we just talk about this cinema of a fucking thumbnail that I made yesterday? Holy shit. How did I come up with such an incredible composition over such bullshit? That, this is truly cinema. Anyways, um... Yeah, the end of the show is, uh... I did everything. Uh, 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 all right. Hold on. Okay, firstly, uh, Zoil, uh, well, Bill and Harry were instructed to, uh, leave before the final verse when Zoil told them to. Um, and then they did this. <laughs> In Jingle Bell Square. Frosty, yeah. They were Harry was going like we should leave. What a bright time and that's when you that when Bill put his hand over his face, that's when he realized that he was meant to go. The right time to um the and uh yeah, hold on. So I this is the last you. verse. Jingle bell time is a swell time to go rocking in a one -off. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Mix and a mingle in the jingling beat. Oh. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. Okay. Right this second, right now, the light should have began to dim to black. Bell rock. Because I wanted the show to close with uh, with this synth solo. Ready, 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 ready. Thank you. I wanted it to close with this. But um, it didn't. It didn't happen. So instead, I went on stage. I went on stage like this. And, um, wait, before I show you, I thought the stream was over now. I thought the stream was over. So, uh, I was like, I'll just come out and speak to the audience. Uh, I, I didn't know that well, it was still going. Guys, I'm not doing one more song. I know, I know. Um, but the, uh, the stream is over now, I believe. That was a lie. And I just, uh, I wanted to come out here and thank you all for being here. Uh, I tried to keep it together all night, uh, but obviously having my family here, I hit 100,000 Twitch followers. Um, uh, I spent six months working on this uh, with no team or anyone. I got look like Jack Manifold's dad. Uh, I spent six- <laughs> Okay, no he doesn't. <laughs> months working, uh, with no team or anyone. I did everything, uh, everything that you've seen today, I had some input in. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been the craziest day of my life. Uh, oh, thank you. Shout out to this person. They they gave me much more aura at the end when I left. Thank you. Woo! And um, yeah, this is truly the end of the show now. Uh, I've been Max Ujiz and hopefully you've been entertained. Ready, ready, and, ready, ready, ready. Uh, have a merry silly mercer. Good night. Oh, holds up the flowers as he leaves. Martin Scorsese cinema. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, chat, hopefully you liked the ending like that. Uh, it was not uh, as it was meant to go. Actually, a lot of the show uh, became semi-improv because I kept missing beats that I was meant to do. Uh, so, hold on, let me find you another bit. 
Um, so I was meant to leave the stage to hand Jack Manifold a microphone because he wanted to have, he wanted to walk, like roll in singing. I was about to introduce him. Uh, actually, no, never mind. And instead, I I came up with the fact that I was going to say never mind, and that's when I left the stage. But I I that was not in, planned or anything. Uh, anyways, chat. Jack Manifold sounded incredible that night. Like I, I, like I know this sounds gay, but like I almost cried listening to his performance because I was like, "This is he's doing this at my show. This is crazy." Everywhere you go, take a look at the five and ten. Chad, did you like that he sung an extra song? Did you like that that was his bit? Uh, hopefully you did. Yeah, he called me. Uh, I was out buying boba. Well, I was about to walk into the boba place that I was going to. And I got a call from uh, from Jack Manifold. And he said, hey, man. Um, so I don't understand what you want from me out of this bit. And I was like, <sighs> and I picked up the phone. I was obviously lovely to speak to Jack, but I was like, what? And I replied, I don't know, man. You're the one that did a world tour. <laughs> what do you mean? And he goes, two days before the show. So I want to do a second song. How do we do that? And I was like, I don't know. Fucking call Freddy and see if he wants to do it. And chat. Drake's in chat for Freddy, who who uh, put a shift in to learn that last song on piano. Um... Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was a lot, by the way, that I didn't know was happening. Uh, I didn't proof Tom's stand up because I wanted it. I wanted to find it funny. Uh, I didn't know uh, what Jack's song was. Um, I didn't know about the rock paper scissors thing. Um, I didn't know about that. Uh, hopefully, you guys like that we. Ended up bringing Molly and Ellie on stage. I thought that was very cute uh, of Scott to bring them up and stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, Freddy was incredible, man. Uh, I hope you guys liked the bit where for Mistletoe, he like built the loop up uh, on stage instead of like just performing it. Um, he was really, really excited to do that. And so hopefully you guys like that. Yeah. I like Tommy's diss track. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I missed a lot of his set. Uh, but I do remember this bit. Oh my fucking god, chat. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the timestamp. Hold, 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 hold. Have you guys seen this comment, by the way? With all of the timestamps of the... It's crazy! Dude, shout out to you if you're that person. Um, should be about here. So, if everyone with me can just start chanting, Aaron! Aaron! Aaron that was okay, yeah? All right then, well now I'm going to ask... Uh, you know, I feel like stand-up comedy... Uh, it's a little bit too self-centered. So now I'm going to ask some questions to the audience. So, are you there? Hi, how are you? Question for you. What? Uh, question for you. How for you there, sir? Uh, kill, bang, marry. Max, Turbo, and me. And remember, we can all hear and see you. Um, hey, take your time. Kill you. Very harsh, is the unpopular answer, but it's fair. Um, bang that. Great, okay. Well now, every time he's on this stage and sees you, he'll know. And uh, marry to that. Okay. Well, that is the last time I'll be asking that question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Which one of you perverts said that? 
Yes. It was him. You fucking pervert, man. I'm ready, ready, ready. PR answer incoming for promo. And I just wanted to say, buy me a drink at the Silly Mas After Party first. <laughs> Cinema. Oh, how does he do it every time? Anyways, uh, I really didn't want to interrupt Tom's stand-up. But at that moment, I felt like my I, like in deep inside of me, I was like, I I should go on stage. I think I would. I think it would be good, and I think it came out quite good. Um, just wanted to say something. So all of my friends were sat in the guest list section with my parents, and during the entire section where the person said that they wanted to have sex with me, my mum sat like this in the crowd. Um, so, thanks for that one, Tom. Very nice of you, man. Uh, music's a bit loud. Oh, thank you. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if you, uh, if, if, if it makes you feel better, I, I, out of those three, I would have sex with me as well. Um, <laughs> There we go. Now, the most ill person you know is going to tweet, Max UG is a self sessed question mark, or some shit like that. Um, anyways, chat. Is this self sessed There you go. Uh, Ronnie, by the way, I had no idea that it was you in the crowd when I point- I don't even remember the context behind this anymore, but I pointed at a group of people on the right of me and said, the polycule is here tonight, or something. <laughs> I have no idea what that was about anymore. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hope it- hope it was good. Uh, yeah, um, it was- dude, it was weird, man. Like, I can't describe to you how similar it was to doing a stream. Like, obviously, they're cut, like, they're two things, two, two kind of, like, like, similar things. It was, like, the same. It was so weird, man. Your stage presence was amazing. Do you guys really mean that, really? I, uh, th it was true, by the way. I've never done anything on stage, so I appreciate that. Um, I'm glad that you guys liked it. Uh, yeah, like your, sh one of your streams that every viewer is drunk. To be fair, I do take a little bit of the blame for the audience being rowdy, as I did incline all of my viewers to get really drunk before it. So I, I can appreciate that some of the things that were said out loud were, uh, due to drunkness only genuine only complaint about the audience and i'm sorry if this was you uh you're gonna feel shit about yourself but i'm gonna say it anyways the person who had the kazoo in the front row if i had heard that you were playing it in the green room i would have walked out and and walked into the crowd and thrown it at the wall genuinely i don't care why were you why were you playing the kazoo whilst Tom Simons was trying to fucking perform, man? That was a, that it was a bit annoying. And I'm sorry if that was you. Uh but I had to say man. Uh but yeah, chat yo. The whole time I had people chatting behind me. Well, no, to be fair, like, I couldn't hear if people were talking amongst themselves. I could only hear when people talked out to me. Um, but I was quite... The thing about me is that I'm quite good at staying focused on the sentence that I'm saying. So I wasn't too bothered. I was like, it's fine. Also, oh my god, like I know that it's bad, but I literally loved being heckled. It's just like a stream, man. It was like being at home on my desk, but the people were right there and it was so much more potent. And after the show, I wish I was meaner, man. I wish to some of the people, I pointed at them in the crowd and said, if you're the funny one, man, come on stage and fucking perform for us. I wish, I wish I said that so badly. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed being on stage. And I think, 
um silly Mus truthfully is over now uh because obviously i wanted to leave it out with a with a big bang but maybe one day i'll come back to the stage and do something else uh would be cool Um, in America? Hi Max, I just wanted to let you know my friend and I missed the train home because he wanted a picture with you. Well, I hope it's a good picture. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll do another stage show. I just don't really know. Like, chat, do you get what I mean? Like, Silimus, do you see the vision of why I knew that it was right to bring it to the stage? I don't have a lot of ideas like that. So, yeah. I don't really have, like, many things where I'm like, I can bring this to the stage, man. And I don't... I don't want to do a talent show. So boring, man. I want to do something where, like, we're firing off jokes together or something. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I had, I had a lot of fun, man. I had so much fun and, uh, I wanted to thank, wait, hold on, actually, please. Uh, I, I have, so usually when I go live, I have three or four stream notes. Today I have more than 20, so I need to make sure I'm deleting the right ones. Um. You all are dope as fuck. Thank you. Um. Oh! So, by the like, one thing I wanted to say, chat. I don't think I was too strange during that stream for, like, the parents in the audience. I was scared that it was gonna land badly, but I think I was- I kept it quite normal. Like, quite funnily normal. Um. Apart from one thing- uh, when I began to punch Johnny on stage, uh, Johnny began to count down from 15, and I said to him very, very candidly, John A, you're not doing a J-O-I. If you don't know what that is, please don't Google it. And, um, did, people in the audience really didn't like that joke, but apparently my guest list found it so funny. Sadly, I know what that is. I would explain. <sighs> I'm not going to explain it. I'm not going to explain what a J-O-I is. Um, those who know, chat. Those who know. But yeah, I, I felt like it would have been... I thought I was going to... They were going to howl of laughter in that... Um, in that auditorium, and they didn't. And I was like, okay. <laughs> By the way, Shaq, can I tell you something? Dude, I got the fucking uh, being on stage buff. Bro, I was so funny at the pub, man. Oh my god. I just, I accidentally went into the same mode that I did whilst I was on stage. Bro, I spent two hours firing off serious bangers. Um, uh, but yeah, chat, uh, hopefully you liked my joke about the Minecraft YouTuber thing. Um, I wrote it three, four months ago, probably. Uh, and, uh, and I asked Molly if it was okay four months ago and she was like, yeah, it's pretty good. You should say it. Um, I thought it was quite good. I just Googled J-O-I, what the fuck? It's a British alternative dub slash, uh, dub slash dance band, which mixes Asian influences with other Western beats, man. That's what it is. Thank you, AI Summary. Um, yeah, so JOI joke didn't land very well with the audience, but... It was not all bad, you know? I think people... It, it was... How do I explain this? It was weird... Um, that I didn't realise how funny people thought the show was. 
um, I didn't realize so many people were laughing at the things I was saying. I was just saying them, like I always do. <laughs> Um, but it was, it was crazy, man. And my chat averaged something crazy, like, uh, like, seven chat messages per second, constantly through the entire, I think we had 55,000 chat messages during the stream, which is not few. Um... Yeah. I wish I could have seen it on Chatterino. Oh, man. Taylor, uh, girl sitting outside Taylor Swift venue gif. <laughs> Guys! Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. I was having dinner with Molly yesterday, and I was trying to tell her about the Carl Jacobs wow wow gif, and, we, and I realized it was lost media, and we fucking found it. We fucking found the Carl Jacobs wow wow gif. Dude! There it is! Carl Jacobs, wah wah! Oh my god. Um. But yeah, uh, thank you, by the way, for all the people that very kind. Um, so before I went on stage, uh, like probably the day before, I thought to myself. Um, I don't know if you guys have saw the videos at the end of James's tour, but everyone in the front row had a, a rose to throw at him on stage. And I thought to myself, I wonder if anyone was going to give me flowers at the show. But it was like a passing thought. Like I thought, nah, probably not. Cause it's not like, it's not such a, like a, a sweet thing, bro. I've got so many flowers, I ran out of places to put them. Um, so thank you to all the people that gave me bouquets. Uh, Molly helped me organize them all into one big bouquet that sat inside of a... Uh, I'll, I'll just bring it upstairs. Thank you. Uh, they're inside of a, a container of soup right now. Uh, but thank you so much. It's very nice of you guys. Uh, hold on, let me bring them back. Um, I receive lots and lots of really, really nice uh, uh, gifts. So thank you guys uh, for that. Um, I do have one thing to show you that's quite cool. Uh, I had no idea about it before I, before I got home. Hold on. Uh, thank you guys for this. Oh, it's, it's upside down. Uh, which was like signed by like the whole crowd Thanks guys, that was very nice um, Yeah, thank you um, Thank you to the person who gave me a, a, a brand new version of charm by Claro as well Thank you so much Chloe um, uh, yeah, and obviously all of the other awesome- One thing that was really cool was this. There was somebody who gave me a bunch of these. So like pins that say Silliness on them. I thought these were cute. Thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to all the people that gave me gifts. Wrote me like letters and stuff, man. I read them all. 
Um, and, uh, 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 um, hold on, I have one other thing to say. Oh! <laughs> um, guys, I know this sounds stupid, yeah, but I didn't think that if I walked out into the queue section, I would get mobbed like that. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna ha- uh, I understand that it was my show, but I thought it was fine. No. Um, there was a bit of a, a technical problem. The fact that the venue doesn't have a, a stage door, which is the back entrance for the cast. Our venue didn't have that. And so I had to go out and get Molly and Lulu because they were bringing us water. was a bad bad idea <laughs> it was so bad um and 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 there were so many people oh my god um but yeah uh yeah thank you to all the people that gave me gifts and stuff that was very very nice of you and also um we have quite a few posters left actually you know what let me tell you something chat let me tell you something You, guys, told me that you thought I should double the stock of my posters uh, for Silly Must Lie. This sounds like a lie. We sold, down to the one, we sold exactly 50% of the volume of posters. Which means I was right with a margin of error of zero. Thanks. Um. But if you would like a signed Silimus poster. Uh, by the way, I never got to explain what the design is. They're all doing the actions of their songs. So like, that's Santa Tell Me. Uh, uh, baby, it's cold outside. Uh, uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it's, it's signed by all of us. If you'd like one, they will probably be on sale soon. Uh, to clear the rest of my stock. Uh, there's not many. But there's like, you know, a couple dozen. Uh, wait, oh my god. That's the one Lala that I did. Wait, where does it... How <laughs> oh, it says Lala. Uh, yeah. If you'd like one, they'll be on sale. Uh, I'm not sure how much they'll be. Um, uh, they were £20 in person. There's a chance, like a, a really small chance, that it might be more like 22 online because there's a couple of other technical things that i need but yeah plus shipping oh uh you'd have to, I, I i don't know the shipping stuff i i have to ship them all uh that's the thing so yeah when do you think they'll be on i have no idea but i will definitely get it sorted before christmas uh because i'm going oh by the way i'm going to italy for five days uh this month So, yeah. So the Wisp says question mark question mark guy who doesn't know that Max Jews is Italian. Tweet for, to show you Martin Holland. Everyone hold. Actually, there's more than one, but this is the one that I was thinking of. Uh, about healthcare CEO killer. 
You kill a man for being greedy, and then yet you're, you yourself are bisexual. How curious. Now, uh, uh, looking at face value, you think this is biphobia. But when you, when you realize the expert writing of this, how curious, dude. Then you begin to realize that we're dealing with a we're dealing with a serious poster. This is not just a one viral tweet. Um, framing it and putting it in my closet. <laughs> um, when someone with zero followers retweets you, like they're hanging your painting in their closet. <laughs> um, Chad, can I show you something? So, the day before Silimus, I had a really, really bad day. Um, no, uh, not the day before, two days before. Uh, because I had very um particular technical problems with my with my setup for Silimus and it was stressing me out a lot like a lot and i was sat with molly and i really needed to calm down and this this sounds crazy but this is what calmed me down are any of you familiar with schlatt and connor's friend alex smokes mid <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe you recognize his Twitter account, which has the galaxy. <laughs> uh, I sat on my stairs. And I read every tweet he's posted this year. I, je I think I started to cry of laughter. It was so funny to me. Uh, let's see if I can find some of them. Uh... <laughs> Van Gogh didn't pick up the brush till he was 29. Have a safe Halloween weekend, everyone. <laughs> He's just so... I don't know, man. The way that he tweets really gets to me. Um, he went on a really good run a couple weeks ago. I'm going to try find some. <laughs> we all got that one friend with mystical blue eyes whose inquisitiveness and general curiosity about the world knows no bounds. That's me, man. Um... Dude, some of them are like, uh, I can't even show you the ones I find funny because you call me fucking insane. <laughs> when you let an introverted white boy on the orcs and he puts on a blady built to spill mix that genuinely changes the way you see the world. <laughs> so true, man. There was one that- the one that I was trying to find- uh, hold on. He made a tweet about Clara. Hold. <laughs> Uncle just said Jean Moran a thug and said Clara doesn't have mainstream pop sensibility with a raw indie Elliot Smith-esque pen. Yeah, this is gonna- <laughs> This might get messy. <laughs> um, dude, he loves to tweet about Claro. Jesus Christ. Starting an indie basketball league where we just get shots up and listen to shit like Claro and Men I Trust once a week. That's Claro Shade, man. Uh, anyway, chat. When I uh, when I went up on stage at the end um, for of Silly Must Live, I hosted 
a YouTuber Christmas concert. When I did that bit at the end where I spoke to the crowd and I and I held up the flowers. Let's see if I can find it here. Obviously, having my family here, I hit 100,000 Twitch followers. Um, um, I was like, I don't know if you could tell, uh, but I was like, like really, really close to crying on stage. Um, but I, I tried to keep it together at the end. And I went back into my green room after it had ended. Um, and uh, I walked in and the first person I saw was Scott. And, uh, and he hugged me and he said, he said, that was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I'm so proud of you. Um, and I, and I like, I like shuddered before I cried. And I think you could tell. Um, and then, uh, but then I was like, I became kind of like senseless because I realized that I had to do a very, um, interesting, uh, a kind of thing that, uh, so when I meet people that watch me, I, I go into like a certain kind of headspace because I need to. Make sure that it's the perfect conversation for them. Ask them if they'd like a picture. Uh, listen to a little bit of what they're saying. But make sure that it doesn't come off as awkward. It, they, they're they comfortable. And we get it over like, you know, we don't stall around too much. And so I went outside and I was like, okay, I'm going to start meeting people. I went around. I met probably 100 people. And then I saw my family. And I was like, hey, it's good to see you. And then I realized, duh, 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 I just did the fucking thing. Oh my god. Um, which was, it was kind of embarrassing, but they didn't really realize. But I did. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I went out there. I met a lot of you guys, man. It was really, really sweet. Uh, a lot of people that have been watching me for years. People that traveled from... Like, all different parts of the world to see it, man. Fucking Maddie's Bench was there. Who was... Uh, I what f Not not to put you on blast, Maddie's Bench, but from what I saw, uh, too scared to come up to me. So instead, I went up to them and was like, Hey! <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, they were super, super nice. It was good to see them. Um, I met Lamine from chat. And they, they, and they were very, very shocked because I knew them from face. And I was like, hey! Um, and, uh, yeah, that was all fun. Uh, and then I, uh, we kind of cleared the venue and then I had to go home. That was crazy. I didn't know how you knew. Okay, do you want to know how? I knew who you were because I drew you... For a stream once. And I just happened to remember it. And so I went, okay. That was it. Um, and yeah, I went home uh, with my family. And I was really overwhelmed. And I sat down on my bed and I cried like crazy for like 5-10 minutes. And then I looked at what I was wearing to get ready for the tub bar, and I put on this shirt, chat. Which is really, really nice. And I thought to myself, I'm not wearing this shit. <laughs> Someone's gonna get it dirty. This shit is a one of one. So I didn't put it on. And I, um, I didn't really feel emotional from then. I kind of went to the Tubbo bar. I said bye to my family and stuff. Uh, I went to the Tubbo bar and I, chat, you know I don't get drunk. Uh, you know I don't drink. I, I was fucked up, man. I was fucked up. Um, because I walked in there, and I suddenly realized something. Everyone is here, now, in a least egotistical way possible. 
Everyone is at this place to celebrate me. So everyone wants to buy me a drink. <laughs> um, I walked in and the first three people went, would you like it? anything from the bar? I'll buy it for you, Max. And I was like, uh, uh. And so I had uh, a vodka Coke and two sex on the beaches. And by the time I finished my second sex on the beach, I was like, uh, how do I explain this to you? I don't get drunk, so I don't know if this is what it's like. I felt like I was, um, like, floating above my own body. <laughs> I was like, oh, holy shit. Um, and I, 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 Molly arrived to the venue, and I was like, hi, Molly. And I looked at her, and I was like, I'm really drunk. And she was like, come with me. <laughs> And 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 she sat with me and she didn't let me leave until I had three glasses of water. <laughs> um And then I kind of sobered up and I saw I saw Owen and Luann and Eloise and Becky Amon and Fulham and uh, and everyone else that was backstage and they all obviously they're a bit older than me and they all just hugged me and were like uh, you know, like they basically each said that they felt like they were watching their younger sibling succeed So like I was like, oh, thank you guys and Becky was like, I'm so proud of you and I was like, thank you And then uh, yeah, everyone was just so nice uh, And then um I went downstairs and I found my mods and I bought my mods a round of drinks because I was like Come on, man. I'll fucking buy them. I don't care um, and, uh, yeah, I, I then went back upstairs and I kind of realized that I could do whatever the fuck I wanted on that stage because it was my after party. And so I went up there. And I was like, it's time to get fucking lit. I didn't understand why people were, like, I wasn't even that drunk at that point because I was, I drank enough water. I didn't understand why people were at the front. They wouldn't even fucking jump. But I began to lean over the, over the decks. And like, I pointed at people in the crowd that weren't jumping. And like, I was like, fucking jump right now. Um, and that was great, man. It was great. Jump, bitch! That's, that is what I said. Um, but yeah, some of the people weren't dancing and stuff, so I tried to get them to, you know, do something about it. And then... Um, oh, by the way, I think it's important before I keep going, uh, before I forget to mention this. Um, so, I kissed Harry on stage yesterday, uh, two days ago. <laughs> um... <laughs> That wasn't in the script, and neither was me kissing Freddy. Those were both improved. Whoops. Um, out of nerves or because you wanted to? Uh, well, well, Harry's the one that makes me nervous. Ugh! Fucking hell. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I kissed him. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the ten months, uh, Celine. Hi. So glad you had fun. I had loads of fun. It was good to see you. Um, but yeah, I you just felt so loving. That's right. And uh, yeah, so I kissed Harry. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. Tubbo after party. Cinema. Oh my god. It was great. I really, really loved it. And, um, and I wanted... Uh, dude, so many of the people... Oh my god, there was a guy that really pulled on my heartstrings outside. Um, he was like, yeah, man, I don't watch, uh, like, I don't watch Minecraft streamers, but I watch you, um, and so, like, I, you know, I just kind of wanted to come to this after party, because, like, I really liked your show, and I was like, oh, like, the guy, he doesn't watch anyone else but me, um, and that was really, really sweet, shout out to that person, whoever that was, um, I met a lot of you guys, like a lot of people who I recognize from chat. 
Uh, so many people were like, man, you guys were so nice. Um, yeah, there were... It, it, it's weird to me... Uh, when I go to conventions and other people's shows, um, I just meet people that know me. Like, there's a lot of... You know, I have 100,000 Twitch followers, so there's a, like a lot of people that just know me. But I met people that like watch me every day like day in and day out they watch me and that was like really nice it was really really sweet um my fucking music won't work ah, this song yeah uh but yeah it was really really nice to meet a lot of you guys um and uh and uh oh the Tubbo Club Night ends, and we decide that we're doing afters at the Tubbo office. Little, of a, little bit of a problem when we got there, chat. How do I uh, say this? I was a bit of a, uh, as one may put it, a vibe terrorist. Um, because I was one of three people that got there first. It was me and Molly and Slowy. And, um, I sat down on Toby's chair and it was the first time I wasn't doing anything that day. And I looked down at my phone and I burst into tears. <laughs> And I cried. I cried so much that when the people came in for afters, I realized I was crying louder than they were talking. And so I went to the back room of Tubbo's office and I went in there and I was crying so loud that people outside of the door were coming in and like making sure that I was okay. Dude, like genuinely, not like not like glamorizing it or anything. It was the best night of my entire life. Like it was, you don't even know. Like, like just imagine if you spent six months doing something and none of it existed, and then it all existed all at once in front of you, and it all worked. It was like. It was like, like the most overwhelming relief ever. Um, and yeah, I cried so hard that, um, <laughs> that I, um, I, I went through every tissue in Tubbo's office and then I, uh, and then I, 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 every person I hugged, I, I made their shoulder wet and then... I went to the toilet because I had to pee because I drank so much water at the bar. And I came I came out of the toilet. I looked at myself in the mirror. And um, I wish I'd taken a picture, man. When I cry a lot, my eyes, because they're really blue, they get really in... Like, they, they're like... They're really jarring, honestly. They're really red and then really blue. And um, I kind of look like I had, like, blood... Uh, explosions inside of my eyes and I walked out and I saw Danny uh, who uh, you know works around the office if you don't know her and uh, she looked at me and she was like are you okay and I didn't know how to explain to her that I was crying of happiness and I went yeah no I'm fine and she looked at me and she was like no like seriously like are you okay like I don't understand and she went to the she went to the kitchen and like got me a sick bowl and stuff because she thought that I was too drunk and that's why I was crying. Um, but I was like, bro, you don't, you can't even imagine how much I cried. I, I, I wouldn't stop. Um, and uh, yeah, man, it was just, it, 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 it meant everything to me, man. Seriously. Um, and. Uh, and I saw a lot of the people that were in the cast uh, then. And I spoke to Tubbo and stuff. And he was really, really nice about it. And then I went home. 
and I sat in my bed and I began to read tweets about Silly Mus. I cried again. A lot. And then um, I woke up in the morning and, you know, he probably doesn't want me to read this and I might cry just reading it. But I, I, I got a text from Toby at five in the morning and I think, I don't know, man, I think it was special and I think I should read it uh, to you guys. Uh, he said, now, this is a lot. Uh, he said, hey man, uh, I know you're really wasted right now, but you mentioned something that I should have said 100% to your face. Uh, thank you so much for letting me DJ the after party. It was the highlight of my year. And you are such an inspiration to me, man. What The way that you create makes me strive to do better. I'm so proud of you and I'm so sorry I didn't say it sooner. I hope you had an incredible night and I can't wait to hang out with you more now that you live in Brighton. Which obviously, from somebody else, would have been quite a, like a nice message, but not so overwhelming. But it meant a lot when he said that my after party was the highlight of his year, because uh, uh, he's a very um, how do I say uh, uh, he he achieves a lot, and. Um, so to hear it from him, it meant a lot. And and to be told by somebody who uh, really on Twitch has done it all, that I am someone that inspires them instead of vice versa. Obviously, he inspires me, but it uh, the way that he phrased it was quite particular. Um, it meant a lot, man. It, were, it, it really meant a lot to me. It's the... I don't know. It's just... Uh, it's really... It's, it, uh, it's really nice to be uh, recognized for work that you put in and it's not normal in this community not it's not normal but you know we kind of just accept that each of all each of us work really hard uh, and uh, he was really really nice to me and then uh, my friend Slowy, uh, who I let sleep here uh, when they left uh, they they left me a note on my desk which I think I should read as well uh, that says, uh, take care of yourself and be proud. You did something so incredible, seriously. So breathe and take in your surroundings and keep creating. And I read that and I cried again. Um, and I, like, that is only the, 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 the surface of the things that were said to me. Um, I cried because... It, it all went to plan and Molly told me that it would all be okay in the end. Um, I cried because... Uh, I cried when I watched the VOD the first time because I couldn't believe that it was my content. Um, uh, I cried a lot of times, man. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, uh, I received... I received messages from some of the first streamers I ever met five years ago that were like, Hey man, I know we haven't spoken in five years, but uh, what you did tonight was incredible. You should be so proud of yourself. I can't believe like the person that you've become. Uh, that was really nice. Um, uh, yeah, I just received a lot, uh, a lot of... Um, uh, a lot of like Johnny and Harry and Scott and stuff were just so nice to me. Um, uh, yeah, it all meant so much to me. Uh, and yeah, I re I could cry right now, but I don't feel like I should. <laughs> um, but yeah. Everyone, like, everyone was so nice. You you wouldn't believe it. I, I've done a lot of things in my career. N I never received 10% of what I did on that night. It was overwhelmingly, like, it was unreal, man. Everyone was so nice. Uh, uh, Ellie was so nice as well. She said it was the greatest, sh like, the greatest show she watched this year or something. And fucking Ellie uh, hosted a private YouTube event, man. Um, and like, I don't know, man, like, 
It was just a lot. It was really, really nice. Um, and yeah, just all of it, 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 you guys don't even know, man, like, like streaming in not like a, like a weird way, it means everything to me. Um, I, I, like, if only you love talking in chat as much as I love streaming, I, my chat would go 10,000 chat messages a second, man, seriously. Um, yeah. It, 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 like, like, I, I think it, I think it's, like, my vocation. Like, I think it's what, uh, you know, when people say that they were put on the earth to do something, I think that's my thing. Um, and to be told by the people that have had viewership combinations of, 200 times what I did on the biggest stream of my entire life um, Like tell me that it was the most incredible thing they'd been at so impressive um, Toby said that it was he couldn't believe the fact that I didn't have a team and everything man. Uh, it was just like Yeah, it meant so much to me man. It all did uh, this rivals dream SMP finale. We had our laughs, but all good things must come to an end eventually. Um, but yeah. I was... I, I, I don't know, man. It meant so much to me. Uh, not even the show itself or the series. Obviously, that meant a lot to me. But it just meant so much that... It's true, man. Like, when you put in work to something, people care. It's it always it's always true. But it became difficult for me to um, really stay with it when uh, I spent six months and there was no results all the time. There was no result for my work. I, I worked, like, I never spoke about it, but I worked hundreds and hundreds of hours on it. Uh, and I know it might, it might seem stupid seeing as there was only two hours of content, but it, I, I, I put everything I had into it. Um, and so when you put your all into something and uh, people tell you that it's great, um, it just, it feels great, man. It feels so good. And, um, I'm sure I'll do other things. I'm sure I'll go on stage again. Uh... And I kind of want to do a little special thing in January that isn't a live show, but a, a streamed event. Um, I'll see. See what I can do. Um, yeah. But um, I'm swimming in tears, bro. Some of these pictures of me, man, are crazy. This was me probably just after I finished crying. But I was still crying. But yeah, it, it just... Uh, oh, man. And I, I put my poster in the green room. You can't see... Hold on. I'll, I'll zoom it out for you. This is crazy. Like, if you're from the UK, this will be crazy to you. Oh, that on the right is my poster and in the top left is Russell Howard's poster and it's just weird man that that's my that's like my poster there um, uh, Russell Howard's a real big comedian in the UK silly must outsold like I don't even want to be rude it, it it sold out faster than his show so um... <laughs> it did yeah uh, by the way, I wanted to thank you guys um, for not queuing outside the venue for ages. I know that I made it expressly clear that I didn't want that. But I appreciate that you guys were quite respectful with the queuing and stuff. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah. You needed a bigger venue. You know what? I can say it now. 
When I sold out in two minutes and people asked me for a venue upgrade, it, uh, it angered me beyond fucking belief. Because I spent three months coordinating with a venue and you expect me to upgrade it. Have some decorum, man. I, it's just me who works on this. Anyways, guys, let me tell you something, okay? I, we're not going to brush over this. There's a real reason why I did it all myself. January paycheck month. Please save me. Oh my god. It's more than I've made in the last five months combined. It is an amount of money that is unfathomable to me. <laughs> So yeah, thanks. Um, and thank you to all the people. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Thank you all to, to all the people that um, subbed. You can go into overdraft. Go wild, bro. I uh, I didn't make it clear to Molly until today. She didn't know that when I moved, I spent all of my savings, and she didn't know. Like she didn't know that I didn't have any money when I moved. Like, because in that month, I I paid for the venue, the 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 art. I paid for my first month of moving, my security deposit, my internet installation, my moving, my bed. And after that, I had no money, man. But I just told Molly that I did, so she didn't get stressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, chat. Oh my god. I need to show you something. This is crazy. Uh, thank you guys for watching the, um, the, the video on YouTube, by the way. I didn't think it would land this well. You guys know I've uploaded some, like, uh, uh, Omega Giga viral videos with, like, 200k views this year. Two of ten! Holy shit. Thanks, guys. Now, the only problem is the entire video is copyright claimed. So, it's not like I'm making any money off of it. Okay, no, it's not copyright claimed. It's, 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 it is copyright claimed, but it's cover claimed, which means that I have to share my money with, who am I sharing my money with? Hold on. Let's 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 leak it. I'm sharing my money with the creators of Mistletoe and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas because the songs were too similar. And so surely chat they don't take more than 70% of my revenue surely. Isn't that why Schlatt got my way taken down? Uh, it's because Schlatt used the... My... All of... Now, I don't want to say it. All of my instrumentals were performed and tweaked by a professional musician. So... We didn't use any of the originals. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I have much else to say. Uh... Okay. Harry just replied this to my tweet. You gagged her in a T. You gagged her T in a demure manner. Do you want to know the original thing I was going to reply to this tweet with? She said, I also do weddings. Let me show you. Let me draft you up the reply. This is what I was originally going to say. And chat, you know it's rare for me to not post something, right? I don't. I, I fire them off all the time. But I, I held off for this one. She tweeted, I also do weddings. And uh, this was my response. Um, but I I was like, ah, it's a bit far. Come on, like, I can't post that. Uh, so I didn't. But, you know, if, if it was a subpar reply, it's because just know that I put all my effort into another one. You should marry Harry. Genuinely, I couldn't think of anything worse than my last name being Benstead. 
You're doing Italian erasure of me. He could take yours with no disrespect to Harry. I don't want him to dishonor my family name. <laughs> so it won't happen. Uh, Chloe, thank you for the Claro vinyl. Uh, yeah, what else do I have to say? Uh, oh, I met uh, Ronnie. Um, and they made me sign this thing. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that this is not a confirmation. <laughs> I, just because I signed it doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> You tried to nick my pen? Bro, I needed a pen and you were there and I fucking signed your bag. Give me your fucking pen. I don't give a fuck. I was like, can I have this pen? And I was being very earnest. I was like, I really would need it. And Ronnie was like, no. Fuck no. I was like, D please, man. It's a pen. You fucking skint bastard. Uh, anyways, I didn't get the pen in the end. I had to go- I- Ronnie, I don't know if you noticed, but I ran to the green room because I had to get one of my Sharpies. Because I didn't have a pen. Just because you have followers doesn't mean you- you can have everything. Bro, you're at my fucking show! Have some kindness to you! Realize that I was in a moment of hurt and I needed a pen. Don't nick from minors. Me when I say that I'm a minor as well. And I do uh, uh, under 18 stolen valor. <laughs> Dude, the minors are probably so mad when I make that joke. Girl, you're 19. I'm, I'm 12. I'm 12, I'm 12, I'm 12, I'm 12. Nah. Just joking. Guys, can we talk about the top comment on my new YouTube video? Social anxiety is terrified of average Harry. When I thought he was the one that seemed the most terrified of the crowd. Is that a weird... When he came on stage, I think it's because he didn't have anything written. I thought social anxiety was getting to him, man. He was born three minutes ago. Dude, so was I. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Silimus, it, it meant everything to me, man. And uh, uh, look, let me show you something, chat. So, fucking, what's it called? Um, yeah, I'll show you this because it's crazy. Uh, Zoil stream averaged approximately 1.5 thousand and peaked at 1.8 thousand. And, uh, so just keep that in mind, and now I'm gonna show you my stream dashboard. CHILLS! Oh my god, chill. I got chills, guys, I'm not gonna lie. 37,000 people tuned into the stream. 37,000, bitch! And I think we peaked at 4.5, 4.6 thousand, something like that. Wait, so did Zoil's viewers know? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I knew that I could do this because um, him and I don't share a lot of audience. Uh, on the day, uh, I told him he could just say that he was going to be the special guest. Because I knew no one would get it spoiled to them. Um, but yeah. Who up, Missing Silimus? Hi, Michaela. Uh, but yeah, I knew. I knew that it would work. And I was really, really happy. Obviously, Zoil has quite a different community to me. Um, but, you know, maybe they didn't like the show. I didn't check his VOD, really. I don't know if they liked the show, the rest of it. But they seemed to really like the bit with Harry and Bill, which made me really happy. Um, yeah. Like, you know, they liked it, and that was nice. I ruined it for myself by getting the shirt early. Yeah, I didn't know they would arrive by then. 
When you told me, I was like, no one will guess. By the way, I hope Bill being in it surprised you. Because uh, that was only uh, figured out last week. It wasn't... Um, like, it, it, it kind of surprised some of the other people. Pierre yeah, chat. Oh, man. It makes me so happy to have Molly and Ellie and Bill be cemented in uh, in Salima's history. And obviously Zoil as well, but, like, I brought him in. But, like, they, were un they weren't planned to be on the stage by me, really. Uh, and it makes me happy that they were in it. Um, Molly, yeah. I really appreciated when I checked the VOD to see what Molly's bit was like. And half of the people were just typing bunga. And I realized that I'd socially conditioned my viewers to type bunga every time I said the word Molly. Uh, which was crazy. By the way, it's been two weeks and Molly still hasn't finished that painting of Bunga. I kind of wanted to see him by now. Um, I've been trying to tell her to go live to finish it, but she she hates me and wants me dead, so. Masterpieces take time. I can hear you from my room. Dude, come in here. Like it's a chore. My light's in the way. Yeah. Hey Molly! What's your silly must review? I think it was fun. Thanks, Molly! Is that all? No. <laughs> I just thought maybe you wanted to go. <laughs> hello, uh, hello, hello. So I hate I hate I hate when people say that. What am I supposed to do in about the low end conversation? I don't know. Hello. Hello. How was the hangover? Uh, was I hungover? I was a little bit hungover. I thought. I think so because I remember. So Molly believes that she is uh, impenetrable of hangover, being hangover. Like you're like, be, getting hungover doesn't happen to me. And I was like, okay. That's kind of not true. And. Uh, the morning that you got, you were hungover, I went, you're hungover, you're hungover, and you were like, okay, fine. Um, a, a, a little, little bit hungover. Um, but I had a lot of fun. Guys, let me tell you something about Molly. Every oh. time she's drunk, okay, Molly is of the belief that if you drink, okay, you know when you drink water really fast and it makes your body temperature drop really hard? M Molly doesn't understand, when she's drunk, she doesn't understand that that can happen. <laughs> And every time she like drinks three bottles of water and then goes, oh, I'm really cold. I'm really cold. I don't know why. And I'm like, Molly, it's because you drank the water. And she's like, no, it's not. That's not how it works. I sit and shiver for an hour. Uh, but it's, it's more important that I drink the water before I go to bed. Because then when I wake up, uh, I'm less likely to be hungover. Be hungover. This is, it's important. So I'd rather shiver for a bit than throw up, you know? Wait, true. Got a tweet to show you? I got very drunk at the after party. So did I. Yeah, I know, because I had you... to sober you up. Because you were looking at me like this. <laughs> I told you. Um... He looked terrified. He didn't even look drunk. He looked terrified. You kill a man for being greedy, and yet you yourself are a bisexual. How curious. <laughs> How curious. How curious. He'll never let a bisexual be a hitman. <laughs> Guys, I, I appreciate all the people that tagged me when it, it came out that he was an Italian bisexual. <laughs> uh, like I'm the only one. Max, show Molly the draft of your tweet. I was no, I, I, I showed it to her. I said he could post it, but he but decided I felt against bad. it. That's why I didn't chat. It's like how people were uh, in the, your YouTube comments were saying, I can't believe Tom made that joke about Molly being in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh chat i loved it. like youtube viewers are clueless man genuinely like hold on you'll have to find it uh, 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 uh. oh i swear you can search comments this is gay youtube Maybe. man search across it <laughs> tom 
Leave Molly alone. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was hard to watch. Because <laughs> he asked my he asked my permission. I said, yeah, absolutely. Like, no question. And um, also when he was like, oh, my ex-girlfriend's in the audience. I'm I'm a quiet person. That's why you have to turn the music down when I come in. But I was like, hi, hi. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, it's whatever, fine. Did he hear you? No, he didn't. I thought he maybe could, but Aww. I'm I'm all I'm all quiet and shy. You're too quiet, dude. Molly, um, okay, Molly put Molly. You know what? I'm gonna oh. say it. Molly endangered my life today, chat. And I bet you don't even know where this is going. No, I have no idea. Yeah. So, I realized today that. If we didn't pay our energy and water bills today, we would not have energy and water tomorrow. How is that even and, da uh, dangerous? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please wait for it. And Molly was like, okay, we need to figure out how to get the water meter reading. Can you speak to our neighbors? So I was like, okay. I went to go speak to the neighbors, yeah? As I'm opening the door, this guy opens the door. Uh, on the, I swear... The biggest spider I've ever seen uh, in my whole life is on this, walking on this guy's huge. door. It was it's like huge. this big, yeah. and and I and I he opened the door and I was like, "Hey man, I just <laughs> wanted to let you know that there's a massive fucking spider on your door, dude." And he was like, "Oh okay, so what's up?" And I was like, "Do you know how to get the water meter reading?" And he was like. Nah. <laughs> so I endangered myself with this spider. I almost went I, 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 for nothing. It was for nothing. It was huge, to be fair. You know, when you can like see their eyes. Ooh. I feel like I'd have, I could have had a conversation with this guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, I think I might be done talking now. Oh, well. Um, we've had our laughs and it was fun, but. All good things must come to an end eventually, chat. Oh, you're so right. <sighs> ah, uh, Molly's behind me. Should I move? No, you don't have to. Um, all right, chat. I'm gonna go now. Uh, I think we're gonna skip doing Twitch recaps this year. Maybe I'll do it as a as a secondary thing tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I don't really want to do a whole stream about it. I don't give two two shits. No, I do, but. Oh. Um, all right, I'm gonna raid Amesy because it's Amesy's birthday chat. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope this uh, made you, uh, you know, smile a bit. We, we recollected a little bit, and now Silimus is dead. And also, chat, by the way, I'm gonna change the little four, um, what is it, the four squares of Silimus emotes. I'm changing that. Soon it will become uh, a four emote picture of me kissing Harry. <laughs> Uh, chat, thank you so much for joining me again. It has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching my show again. Uh, if you happen to not be able to see it, it's live on my YouTube channel in full for you to watch today. Uh, chat, thank you so much. Uh, once again, it's been a pleasure. And uh, I should be back tomorrow. If I'm not, then maybe just know that I'm taking it kind of easy because I've had uh, three of the most stressful weeks of my life. But I should probably be back tomorrow. Chat. Bye 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 bye. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Bye 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 b